forestry crisis, logging equipment turns into scrap metal. Experts warn that in three years, Russian timber harvesting could face collapse due to the catastrophic state of its machinery fleet. The backbone of the Russian logging industry, its equipment, is rapidly approaching a point of no return. By 2028, the share of completely worn-out harvesters, forwarders, and skidders risks exceeding 90%. The industry is on the verge of paralysis, when there will simply be nothing left to work with. Industry experts estimate the minimum need at 3.5 to 10,000 new machines within the next two to three years. Where tens of thousands of machines were once operating, leaseholders now have only a handful of units left. However, even meeting the lower target of this plan seems unlikely. The consequences of technical exhaustion are already being felt. In 2025, the volume of timber harvested in Russia will decrease to 180 million cubic meters. This is significantly lower than the previous year's figures. Market participants have no doubt it will only get worse. Due to aging equipment, efficiency is plummeting and the cost per cubic meter of wood is rising. Within this crisis situation, potential for growth can be discerned. The equipment shortage presents an opportunity for Russian manufacturers. They can occupy the emerging market niches. Hopes are pinned on the localization of harvester, forwarder, and skidder production. The modern market offers a symbiosis of revived Soviet traditions and fresh developments. JSC Chetra offers wheeled harvesters. Petrozavodsk State University is working on creating domestic models. In the forwarder segment, products from Amkador play a notable role. Petrozavodsk State University is also working on its own engineering solutions. The concept of Russian production often has an assembly engineering character. For example, the Amkador FF560 forwarder is equipped with a power unit from the Chinese brand Weichai Power. Caden LLC continues to successfully modernize the TDT-55 using modern domestic components. The historical predecessors of this equipment class remain the tractors from the Kirov and Altai plants. The industry has found itself at a crossroads. Whether domestic producers can offer high-quality and affordable equipment, or whether Russian logging will face a severe crisis, is a question the answer to which will determine the future of the industry.